Even with the Rebel servers keeping these watches alive as long as possible, there are very limited amounts of apps that can still work from the App Store. Here's a look at 5 apps that I have on my Pebble watch. Links for each app is in the description along with the author's name so you can search for it easily with the Pebble app. First up is the Multi-Timer by Matthew Toll. I use this one almost daily. You can create multiple countdown timers and have them repeat and even change the vibration pattern so you won't confuse the alert with a message notification. I find this especially useful for cooking, such as flipping my steaks on the grill every 30 seconds or so. It's also useful for exercise routines, such as sprinting for 30 seconds, walking for 30 seconds after that, and repeating. There's even a stopwatch function built in. Then there's Dialer for Pebble by Mate J. Dro. So without this app, you'd be relying on the stock built-in phone feature that hasn't been working on the newer versions of Android. You can still get the notification, but sometimes the buttons don't work to end the call or to mute the call or to mute the ringer. The dialer for Pebble app fixes this and gives you back control of your phone calls. With this app, you can customize what the buttons on your Pebbles do when the phone is ringing or while you're in a phone call. And if your watch supports it, it even displays the caller ID image. I have a video on how to set this up because for me, I need this function to work. Link is also in the description. Dashboard by Chris Lewis. This app has multiple functions, but I only use it primarily for one. And that is the find phone function. There are other functions such as toggles for the Wi-Fi, phone data, Bluetooth, phone ringer, data sync, hotspot, and auto brightness. You could also lock your phone from your watch. There is also a network and battery life status screen. Some of the functions didn't work on my Android 14 phone such as the Wi-Fi toggle. And if you toggle off Bluetooth, your watch will disconnect too. To get this app, you can install the watch app directly from the Pebble store. But the companion app that you need on your phone is no longer on the Google Play store. You must download it and sideload it from the original author's webpage. Link is in the description. Although it installs, the dashboard app does not load on the Pebble Steel. But it worked fine on the original Pebble. The Stock Ticker app. This is the only one I could find that still works. It's by the author It's the Red One. You need to sign up for an API key at the finhub.io site, but it's free and simple. I made an account and verified my email. They provided the API keys as I logged in. There's no subscription or payment of services needed. Just copy and paste the key into the settings on the phone app side. Enter your ticker symbols on the phone app and then you can see them on your watch. Although it shows a chart in the screenshots, they do not appear on my watch, but the info is good enough. This app is not compatible with the original Pebble though. The Compass app says it's from a developer named Pebble. I don't know if this is the original manufacturer, but it still works and it's handy if you're hiking or if you just need to find your bearings. It even changes the screen based on the orientation of your watch. The last app is Maptastic from Set Pebble. This app is more of a novel feature than a useful one because obviously you can just pull out your phone and look at Google Maps for a clear view of where you are. But it's very neat to be able to see your location on a map on your Pebble watch. You can even zoom and pan around using the watch's buttons. That's what I have on my Pebble for now, but if you have a useful Pebble app, let me know in the comments.